What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Godly Potential YouTube channel. It's your next episode in the Mind, Body, and Soul series. So, recently, a few days ago, while I was doing my routine walk through the, through the park or whatever, normally when I have these walks, I tend to Think about random stuff that I want to improve the future or just clear my mind. But recently, since I've been invoking a certain spirit period on a daily basis for a while now, I've been getting different insights. <clears throat> and I would just get these thoughts that um <clears throat> seemingly coming out of nowhere not that's not of the norm you can say so one of the thoughts I got <clears throat> while walking doing my like I said normal thing so you got the thought it's part of my head what is wrong with you now that shit took me by surprise because <clears throat> I don't have them thoughts. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. And I'm like, whoa, 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 you know what? Let me let me look at it. And then I start to analyze it. Then it started to make sense. I was like, hmm. I sometimes have a problem with discipline. Hmm. And thinking about that, I just started thinking about manipulation. And a lot of us are struggling, not accomplishing our goals <clears throat> because of manipulative or manipulative people. So when I was thinking about this, okay, how do you defend yourself against a manipulative person. Now, this might not make sense right now, but just, just walk with me. So, thinking about it, and I came up with an idea of my own. <clears throat> I was like, well, maybe there's more to this. Maybe there's a different way of dealing with a manipulative person. So that next day, or the same day, when I was at work, I, uh, I started asking around, I'm like, how do you deal with a manipulative person? And they started going all this and that. And everything they said pretty much came back down to the same conclusion that I had. Which is, the only way to deal with a manipulative person is to don't be manipulated. And the only way to do that is to have your awareness on the fact that they're manipulating you. Because at first, you could think that this person is just trying to persuade me. Because when I look at persuasion and manipulation, I look at persuasion as like the, um, the good way. And manipulation is the bad way to get somebody to do something. <clears throat> so I look at persuading somebody to work out because it would be good for them in the end. Or somebody can manipulate you into giving them some money when they could get a job and get it done now. They don't really need it for the reason they're telling you they need it for. And so, like I said, the only way to deal with this is your awareness on it because whatever you're constantly aware of, that's the only thing that you can improve on. And so, based on the type of video, you're probably wondering, 
I never thought about manipulative people or the reason that I'm not succeeding or the reason, or they're the reason. Well, they're the thing that's holding me back. Well, I'm here to tell you, it is a manipulative person fucking you over. But that manipulative person is yourself. It's that lower part of you, that lower aspect. Because thinking about it, say you're on a diet, right? You're going good, first two weeks down, boom, easy. And then that other voice starts to creep in. Yeah, I go to gym today, man. You went the past two weeks, you're killing it. Or you can you can you you can eat that. Like you you've been good. You already lost whatever amount of pounds. You're good. That's that manipulative person. I call it the lower self. Other people call it other things, but I look at the body as it's an average by the animal self and the spirit, or the lower self and the higher self. And the animal part, or that lower self, is the thing that's manipulating you, that's fucking up your discipline. And like I said, the only way to combat or deal with a manipulated person is to have conscious awareness on it. So next time, when you're having these thoughts, or that little other voice, that animal part, that lower self, because think about it that higher part of you that higher self or that um that spirit that god self it knows exactly what it needs to be doing that's why you're going back and forth with that voice in your head it's like damn i don't need it but man look at look at all the stuff i've done thus far you see it's like a constant battle the good part the higher self the god self the spirit is trying to persuade you to do keep doing good but that lower self the animal part it's the one that's manipulating you. And we normally fall in the trap because we don't know when someone's manipulating us until afterwards when we got that negative result that we didn't want. So, like I was saying before, or whenever you have that thought come up in your head that you should do something, even though your higher self telling you not, realize that the lower self, the animal part of you, it's manipulating you. It might sound good in the beginning. That's another thing. When you've been, like I said, when you manipulate it, when you're being manipulated, you don't know until afterwards. So it might sound good in the, in the moment, but realize that that part of you is manipulating you. And so yeah, back to what I was just saying in the beginning. The reason we're fucking up, manipulated person. Specifically, a manipulative aspect within ourselves. So take this, apply it. I've been applying it lately, and I've been <laughs> been on the up and up. No more slacking in my discipline because I'm aware that that part is trying to manipulate me. So keep that awareness on that. Or, well, like I said in the beginning, with awareness with anything you're trying to change, keep awareness on it. Don't wait until you're in a low place to think about it. Keep your awareness on if you want to change something. So yeah, realize that that voice, the lower self, is trying to manipulate you. Keep listening to the persuasive voice, that higher part, that God self. And watch your shit change. Watch your discipline increase. Watch you start fulfilling your goals more effectively, more proficiently, more abundantly. But yeah, like I said, that's all I wanted to share. Had the little thought, a little epiphany on my walk. But that's it for the video. Scotty Potential YouTube channel. I'm out. Peace.